Peace family. Peter Spencer, a Jamaican immigrant, went out to a cabin in the woods with four white men. Now I hear one of the white men is a co-worker of his. He went out there with them despite the advice of his ADOS, a foundational black American girlfriend, because she know how these folks in this country get down. His black American girlfriend told him, do not go out in the woods with these four black men. Because her, I mean white men, excuse me, because... Her instincts was speaking to her. But despite her warning, he decided to go out anyway. He ended up dead. You know what? Actually, they murdered him. We got to use the correct words. So you can understand the seriousness of this. They murdered him, shot him nine times. And if you need to murder somebody, why you got to shoot him nine times? But they said they did it in self-defense. Four armed white men against one black man. But they said it's self-defense. The police did not take these four white men into custody. And that's what they said. The reason why I didn't take them into custody, that it was self-defense, that they were in for, fear for their lives. And see, that is what a lot of these race soldiers use, that I'm in fear for my life. You in fear for life, but it's four against one. Shot and killed the man nine times. How were you in fear for your life? What did he do to you that would make you in fear for your life? And y'all invited him. See, I'm telling you, family, do not put yourself in circumstances where you're the only black person around white people. Now, this reminds me of the story of the black woman who had a sleepover with white friends and she ended up dead the next day on the lawn and nobody know what happened to her. See, it's a segment of white folks who have a fetish of killing black people. And see, here in America, KKK, they can satisfy that fetish because they have the complexion for protection. And when they murder you, they're going to be the ones who write the story. Their side of the story is a story that will be told. So your side of the story, because you're dead, will not be told. It also reminds me of the story of the young black man, I believe was it in North Carolina, who went out on a boat with his white friends. And he ended up dead in the river. And his family say they don't understand why, because he was a good swimmer. I did a story on that, too. I can't remember the young man's name. But it's so much evidence out there of black people being the only person, the only person, black person around white folks, and they end up dead. I'm telling you, family, when are we going to learn that America is what it is? Because we get too many examples of this. America has shown us who she really is. America has shown us that they're a white country without a black twist.
They don't want us. We're, we're Amer Black people, we're America's stepchild. You black in this country, you got to have common sense. You got to know what moves to make. It doesn't matter if you come over here as an immigrant and you black, they still see you as a nigga. They wouldn't hesitate to murder you or run you in the ground. See, it's foul play. It's foul play in Peter Spencer's murder. And the police, he, they're, they're not questioning his murderers. They haven't released the identity of the four men who killed them. These men are free today. They're scot-free. But I'm not going to let this video, I'm not going to uh, make this video long. I just wanted to come on here and share this story with you and speak this brother's name and hope it don't go in vain. I, I want to see justice for him. Justice for Peter Spencer. Family, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your opinion on this murder of Peter Spencer. Peace, family.